Hey guys, this is Urge Bice speaking here. Let me just show you a very quick introduction of my course, okay? So at the introduction part, we're gonna talk about lots of really interesting theory topics such as color composition, all this light, working with lights and the light and the motion and the connection of these ones. After that, we will cover topics such as uh, color spaces, linear workflow, rendering in ACs, and also some PBR shader stuff as well, like ray tracing. After that, we're gonna talk about the R node basics, which is the R node parameters, the rendering, setup render layers, basic light sources, Kydom lights. We're gonna cover AI standard shader, mix shader, and the very basic compositing principles as well. Following this, the interior lighting part this is something really interesting talking about daylight and nice setup volume lighting rendering and also the compositing part of the whole interior scenes as well with all the renders and aoe's and all this kind of stuff in the exterior lighting part i'm gonna show you working with volumes atmosphere and all these kind of shadows we're gonna put we're gonna use a nice exterior scene putting like uh, lighting and night daylight and lower cast lighting setup we're gonna render it of course with all the render layers and everything and after that we're gonna do a nice final grading final compositing of course our previously rendered exterior scene so we're going to do a character lighting part as well with all the character shading basics and starting with SS shader and metal shader as well we're gonna put some really interesting light bricks and the uh, AOVs and render layers we're gonna use it to do a proper character lighting and rendering session we're gonna do some compositing work also on our character as well to achieve some really nice images and obviously an exterior exterior lighting rendering and compositing with our character as well in the advanced lighting and rendering session we're gonna use some deep render standalone rendering rendering outside of maya using s and caches and stuff like this and building up a nice advanced 